our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we're climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again. The shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me off this cliff. Is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Wait! And watch! Hide them! Hide them! Pig-headed fool! Are you injured? <laughs> A perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor and perching of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join, but that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is the symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thanes. Yet look more closely, and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all. Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Randy about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, Search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hytham. For all of this.
Can you remind when you eliminate and I have to then go in peace. With this, we can recruit more warriors. Now I can build the most vicious crew ever to sail the rivers of England. Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one. I would like to reorganize the crew. Done? All right, bring out my lieutenant.
I'll see you later, friend. Can I interest you in a game of Orlok? Give me a bench, Eivor. I have a thirst for plunder and glory! Come, show me your valor in battle and earn your place at the great table. Little dice never caused any harm. I need your eyes, my friend. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Farewell, Abel. Tell me whatever you need, but right now we're more. Goodbye, Abel. Generous one. Is that it? I have to... Don't be a stranger. Place we needed. Dove and I have some new designs. I would like to see what you have in stock.
that all for now? I must take my leave. So long. See you later, A4. What have you got? All right. If I... so long. I have something new to show you. Can you remind me what you do here? As a stable hand and a gameskeeper, I am happy to help you with any matter concerning your horses or your raven. But for the moment, I'm a little stuck. If you could build me a stable, I can set up shop. How did you come to have such an affinity for horses, Ruin? They were my best friends growing up. I was a sickly boy with a stammer, and the horses were the only ones who never teased me. Over time, I suppose I came to understand them as well as you may understand people. I listen when they speak, and vice versa. I must take my leave. So long. Until next time. That's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord, look at it. Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. Remember everything I taught you. See your stores. Nothing more today. I'll see you later, friend. Bye, Eivor. Eivor! 
In here. What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well, but I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on the wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. letterbox for messages and requests. A bed better than many I have slept in, and a good place to recover. Hmm, not much, but it is mine. You're ready to ride at a moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor! Please. This must be done. Yes, and I can help. Morning, Eivor. Look at Ron! Eivor! I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Yes. I've no horses I can spare just yet. This one is spoken for. What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit. ...to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Lerichestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement... You must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd. For I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dak. You belong here with the raiders. And you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes. And I will keep our raiders sharp. as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. Make sure you talk to your raven regularly. They like that. can compare to sagas, to true poetry. Compare? I think it conquers it. It is quick, clever, accessible to all. It is the art of the masses. What is happening here? Holger wishes to prove that flighting is a lesser art. I am correcting him. It is unrefined, unpalatable, unpleasant. I could beat you without a lick of practice. 
That is not so, you thick-headed... <sighs> Eivor, care to judge a flighting? I would happily judge, brothers. Show me what you have. I will begin. <clears throat> There's a skin-deep resemblance twixt Holger and me. For inside, he's just hot air and bad poetry. Well, in all but our talent, we're certainly twins. It should be no surprise to see which of us wins. Not bad. Now hear this. Uh -uh. You see, flighting is simple. So hearken to me. Look, anyone can do it. It's so easy. But the true challenge in life is to do something more. Like writing sagas, painting pictures, and, uh, and, um, lore. Yes, lore. There. What do you think, Eivor? All this is the clear winner, Holger. I should have expected no less from you, Eivor. You have no ear for these things. A pity. Thank you, Eivor, for acknowledging the natural order. Message has come. Bjorn Bloodtooth. Berserkers make fierce foes, but powerful allies. His strength would bolster our settlement. I should seek him out. wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances, ironclad, with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leicestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. And what's more, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with contacts of his own in the cities. I added his information to the map, if you would like to know what he has discovered. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Grandebridgeshire. A force of Danes, called the Summer Army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. I will leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow.
Ranvi mentioned this place. The last known location of the Summer Army. Hail! What has happened here? Who is asking? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of wattle and daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grantbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Suma Ayalskona. But the Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. They just appeared in the city. It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Our Yalsko Masuma, she bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet. Looks like Ragnarok itself came for Grand Bridge. A great battle raged nearby, whole course. We'll see what else lies within the fog. Have a look, Sunan.
take long. Is your Yal's corner nearby? Not here. Shoma dragged the Saxons east from her longship to tire them out and lose them in the fog. <laughs> this was a fine longship, fit for a chief. It must belong to Soma. Fighting shape. Take a walk about the camp. Your strength. Take him to the shelter for warmth. Slap some moss in that gash and wrap it well. Ego, Ego, look at me. Remember the boars you felled our first day in England. Hold his arms. Nine, large and fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be chasing more in a month, my friend. You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. But we have no dead to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you looking for a friend, an ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Grandbridge. Though it seems an Order of Lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients. Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grand Bridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Birna, Galin, Leif. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them and we retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Who is this Wickmund? What does he want? He's a flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging his fingernails into Grant Bridge, just to say he can. He's made many attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. What happened to Grant Bridge? The elderman Wickmund seized it from us. 
I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city, but this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Grant Bridge. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back. Bright wolf of the branch and guide Soma's gilded warriors home. I think that it's foolish to search the Fenlands for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best, vital to retaking the city. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best, vital to retaking the city. Do you think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone, a wanderer. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder, and little else. But these warriors are more than a blade and shield. They are my family, nothing short. I've lost a city this week, I will not lose them too. I understand. And if your people yet live, we will find them. surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. That's right! Tire yourself out! Weak little kittens! Can't even open one barricaded door! <laughs> God won't let us in here when we do it. You will suck my toes when I'm standing on your head! That's beer for sure. If my head was in a bucket of water, I'd still move. Maybe a weak point. the hearth outside? We handle it just fine. Thinking of starting a new town, in fact. This house being our first. Birna, I pitched a camp nearby, under a burning beacon. We'll meet you there when I've found the others. Thank you, Soma. And you as well, Sambi. We'll head to the camp now. I'll have everyone singing songs and dancing jigs by the time you get back. Birna has a sunny way. This longboat is Birna's, I think. 
Grapple scraped and bashed at target time. Wolves. They've surrounded someone. Must be careful. He's laughing behind his shackles, wretched, killing beast. I don't deserve this. Leave me. Run. Alan, you look terrible. What happened here? Saxons chased me into the fog, ran me smack into a nest of bandits. But Freya was on my side, and I saw them before they saw me. Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I am. And hardly standing myself. But with the blessings of Odin and Freya, they'll be feasting well with the gods. I've set a camp not far from here, marked by a beacon. Go there, Galen, and recover. Eivor and I will find the others. I head back to camp, and as I recover, I'll watch over the rest with a care that only Freya knows. Birna and Galen, like ice and fire, I'd imagine. <laughs> That's well. A group of Danes held captive. If you would be so You're kind, mine. I've had quite the day. Follow on. You meet us there when you're ready. This poem is about Leif. Did he write this about himself?
the beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. They'll be grateful you risked your life to find them. I would be. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback, Galen, you look... well worn. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the corpse hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Jarl's Corner. Leif, you'd outlast any Tempest. It's good to be back, Sorma, all as one. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours. For Grantbridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather our strength and our wits. And at the break of dawn's light, we retake Grand Bridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. Looks like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp. Galen, is that right? That's right. And you are Eivor, the infinite fighter, a forever warrior. That's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Indeed. The Saxons pursued me, ran me bloody through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. And the wolves came. We all have our one day, the day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready. Well, it's good to see you breathing still. <sighs> Leif, Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast, and a poem etched into the hull to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A longship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a ward or a grave. What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leif. Likewise, Ava. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. You are Birna. And you are Eivor, Sunbeam. You cut through the fog like the sun burns through ice. You're in high spirits, all things considered. The ambush. Losing your home. In this moment, yes. But ah, you feel that? The moment has passed. We are free to pursue the next. What a gift! It is good to have you in this fight, Birna. I like you, Eivor. You may help me here, or step on me. And by the look of you, I'd welcome either. Wigman's men hunted us. Here's my boy through his heart. He hadn't seen his 